What's up guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to share something that I learned from a book that I just finished reading. The book is called Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck. So this is actually a book that my brother recommended to me. So it's not something that I'd normally pick up on my own, but I read through it and I thought it was pretty interesting. I think it's so important to understand the two different mindsets that the author outlines in this book. I think this is something that everybody in the world should be aware about because it could literally make or break your life. Throughout the book, the author outlines the differences between having a fixed mindset versus having a growth mindset. And before I go into what either of those mean, I want to do a quick quiz that comes from the book just so you can figure out whether you have a fixed or a growth mindset. So I'm going to read a statement and you can answer to yourself whether you mostly agree with it or if you mostly disagree with it. Number one. Your intelligence is something very basic about you that you can't change very much. Number two, you can learn new things, but you can't really change how intelligent you are. Number three, no matter how much intelligence you have, you can always change it quite a bit. Number four, you can always substantially change how intelligent you are. So if you feel like you agreed with the first and second statement, then you probably have more of a fixed mindset. And if you felt like you agreed with the third and fourth statement, then you have more of a growth mindset. So you can replace the word intelligence with other words like artistic talent or sports ability or business skill or anything else. If you believe that any of these qualities or skills are things that you are born with and you can't change it very much, then you are in a fixed mindset. And if you feel like you can always change and grow and develop your qualities, then you have a growth mindset. Now you don't have to be completely one mindset. We all probably have a good blend of both the fixed and the growth mindset. For example, you may have a growth mindset regarding your intelligence and you believe that you can grow your intelligence and at the same time, you might not believe that you can grow your artistic ability. You might believe that, you know, since you've never been able to draw, that you can't really improve that skill. Now I'm going to go into the differences between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. So starting with the fixed mindset, you believe that your qualities are essentially carved in stone. You believe that once you're born, you're born with a level of intelligence and a level of artistic ability, a personality and whatever, and you can't really do too much to change what you're born with. People with a fixed mindset usually value effortless talents and effortless skills, effortless intelligence because it kind of proves that you were born with that talent or skill or intelligence and that is innately within you. With this mindset, you're usually raised with an idea of either you're smart or you're not, or you're talented in a given area or you're not, and you kind of take that at face value. So what this mindset does is it kind of creates an urgency to prove yourself over and over because if you were raised to believe you were smart and it was a fixed thing, then for example, if you failed at school, that might prove that you're not smart anymore and that's the scariest thing ever. So usually people with that fixed mindset, they want to prove themselves over and over and they will do things and also avoid doing things in order to keep that image of their fixed traits. Usually people with a fixed mindset are terrified of failing and they try their best to avoid challenges because any challenge or any chance of failure could prove that you're not as smart or as talented as you believed you were. And also people with a fixed mindset don't take criticism well because all it does is it hurts their ego in what they believe that they were. And because this mindset values that effortless intelligence and effortless talent, Effort is actually seen as a bad thing with a fixed mindset because trying too hard and putting too much effort means that you're not smart enough. You're not naturally gifted enough to just do it with ease. On the other hand, people with the growth mindsets believe that their qualities can be cultivated through effort. So whether it's your intelligence, your sports skills, your artistic ability, your personality, these people believe that they can always change and evolve those things. 
So with this mindset, these people usually are more open to challenges and some even enjoy challenges because it's a way for them to learn new things. And these people don't see failure as serious as people with a fixed mindset because to the growth mindset people, failure is just a way to continue learning something new. In addition, people with a growth mindset value persistence and effort because they understand that that's what it takes in order to grow and cultivate these qualities. Also, people with a growth mindset tend to do better with criticism because they know that criticism is just a way to learn how to improve themselves. So looking at these two different mindsets, you can see the differences between them. People with a fixed mindset are more likely to judge themselves based on how well or how poorly they do in a given situation. So if they do well in a situation, they will feel good about themselves because it proves how great they are in the first place. But if they do poorly in a situation, then they just end up feeling horrible about themselves. On the other hand, people with a growth mindset don't judge themselves as harshly on how well or how poorly they do. They measure their performance based on how much they learn from a situation. Here's a graphic that outlines the two different mindsets and the consequences of having each mindset. I put the full graphic and another great graphic in my blog post, so you can check that out in the description below. After reading this book, I noticed that I had elements of the fixed mindset in my life growing up as well, and I think I let that mindset hold me back from challenging myself fully. So for example, when I was young, I took classical piano lessons, and I remember always hearing my teacher tell my mom how naturally talented and gifted I was at piano. And to her, I was so great, so I believed that I was naturally good and that was a fixed thing that I was born with. So there came a point where the teacher encouraged me to enter into these piano competitions just, you know, just because. And I was too scared to enter those competitions and I would shy away from those competitions because in my head, if I failed at that competition, if I didn't win, then that would prove me as not as naturally gifted or talented as I thought. So I think I avoided those challenges. I avoided doing those competitions because I was scared. I let that fixed mindset get to me. So in the end, I didn't challenge myself as much as I could have back then. I'm so glad that I got to read this book and understand the differences between these two mindsets. And now I see that I've developed more of a growth mindset in my life. You know, I value things like effort, patience, perseverance, and persistence. And I truly believe that with effort, you can develop yourself in any way that you want. The bottom line is you can change your mindset. You can decide to cultivate that growth mindset. You can decide that your qualities are not set in stone and you have the power to grow and work on them. So you can grow yourself through challenging yourself, through failing, through putting effort and having persistence in what you do. And you don't have to judge yourself based on how well or how poorly you do, but by how much you learn from a situation. All right, I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you wanna dive deeper into the two mindsets, then you should definitely read the book yourself. It's called Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck. All right, thank you, bye.